personality dictates our behavior, our behavior dictates our actions, and our actions create our reality. It's important to be aware of what personality type you most closely resonate with in order to recognize what subconscious behavior you're delegating time to. Identifying this will be the key to determining what elements of your life require adjusting in order to create more favorable circumstances for yourself and others, which should always be the goal. This is not to suggest that personality types are not subject to change, rather that the one to be most concerned with is that of the present. Sigma males are often those who felt accommodated outside the perimeters of what can be considered the norm in today's society. Often described as lone wolves, Sigma males certainly have unique behavioral patterns and that's why it's important to recognize their personality type and how their innate advantages can be optimized. Though Sigma males aren't fond of labels, they still require a category name for when being described as a group. In this video, we're going to find out if you're part of the rare group of Sigma males and give you the most informative method in determining whether you truly are one. You will be asked a sequence of questions followed by a guide on how to answer the questions most honestly. You might want to get some pen and paper out to write down some of your thoughts in relation to the questions or just pause to think about them. Question 1. How much do you value independence? When it comes to Sigma males, their independence is the main factor dictating their behaviors. They are known for focusing on their goals and their behaviors reflect that. Sigma males know that the goals he sets for himself will lead him to a life of independence and self-reliance. If you tend to depend a lot on others, even if you don't necessarily intend to do it to the extent you do, then you likely are not a Sigma male. Sigma males set high standards for themselves and to them being dependent on others is a sign of weakness which is completely intolerable for them. Question 2. Are you satisfied working for others? Sigma males are ambitious people with big dreams who also value time and freedom. They are primarily focused on their goals in order to fulfill their ambition and likely will have set up plans to achieve those goals. Though when it comes to this, they despise being anywhere that does not contribute to achieving their goals. In the situation where they have to comply and work for somebody else, they understand that it's not favorable to achieving their goals, but rather someone else's. So if you're the type of person who is at peace working for someone else and recognizing that it isn't building your dream, then you likely do not belong to the Sigma male archetype. Question 3. Do you have a short social battery? Sigma males have always been described to reside with more introverted than extroverted behaviors and tendencies. This typically means you hold a short social battery, which is something that can be seen across a lot of Sigma males. This is not to say a Sigma male doesn't enjoy social activity, but rather they require frequent time and solitude to recharge their short battery. Sigma males are analytical and critical thinkers who delegate a lot of time to the processing of their thoughts and for this they typically need peace which they can find in solitude. If you are someone who instead thrives off social activity, then you may not have a close correlation with the behaviors of a Sigma. Question 4. Do you feel you have something to prove? Sigma males are known for not being ones to vocalize their thoughts and opinions unless someone asks them, or if it's a suited time to share. They are self-assured individuals who do not need validation on their opinions. They understand everyone is unique in their views, and they are simply living their lives according to their own values which they feel suits them best. They do not overly concern themselves with the opinions of others, and leave each to their own. This is a typical trait you can find in a Sigma male, and don't be surprised if they have a unique and interesting view when you ask for their opinion. Contrary to this, if you are someone who constantly feels the need to share, whether it's on social media, with your friends, or in a classroom. If you are constantly looking to prove something by sharing the things you do, then you are likely not a Sigma male. Question 5. Are you goal-oriented? By goal-oriented, I mean are the day-to-day -day actions of your life benefiting you to achieve your goals in some sort of way, and how much time are you delegating to that? To answer this question, you must be truly honest with yourself on how much time you allocate to your goals and how much you allocate to distractions. 
A Sigma male has a firm and unshakable mindset, which revolves around achieving his goals and his behaviors reflect that. His social time, at least when seriously focused, is minimized, and his work time is maximized. So if you're someone who rarely thinks to even adjust his daily schedule to allocate more time to potential accomplishment, then you're likely not a Sigma. Goals and aspirations are always on the Sigma's mind, and he behaves accordingly. Question 6. Do you enjoy small talk? As previously mentioned, Sigma males are very goal-oriented. And a trait they have to complement this focused dynamic is their intolerance to time-wasting. Sigma males have a list of priorities, and at the top of that list does not sit women, or social activity, or anything that is not a merit of greatness. At the top sits their dreams and aspirations that consist of greatness and fulfillment. Their elite dedication to living out their dreams means they adjust their schedule and set it up to achieve what they want in the most efficient manner. They want to achieve their goals, and they want to do it fast. So when it comes to mundane activities such as small talk and chit-chat, Sigma males recognize it has no real place in their journey to success and often despise engaging in it. If they want to talk about something, they would rather it be meaningful and insightful. Question 7. Do you trust most of the people you meet? Sigma males keep a small circle of friends and tend not to have a large number of affiliates. They know that increasing the amount of people you let into your personal life increases your vulnerability and the number of liabilities you have to consider. Sigma males know that they are men of value who can offer a lot, but they do not want to be open to exploitation. This is why they keep their circles small and intimate. The people he does let in have a very close relationship with him, and anyone who tries to build that with a Sigma should expect to wait a significant time before he opens the curtains for them. So if you're someone who is mostly on guard when it comes to meeting new people because you are aware of how much you have to offer then you might be a Sigma male. Question 8. Do you always plan for the future? Sigma males hate uncertainty especially if that uncertainty has big implications in terms of how it could dictate his life. Sigma males are critical thinkers, and they will often anticipate how a future scenario may unfold and assess what the best possible outcomes are. They always want the outcome to be most favorable for them, and for that they will relentlessly prepare for that situation to ensure that outcome is met and he is satisfied. Sigma males will identify a coming situation predict the possible outcomes, and work to create the most favorable one. This keeps them in a continual loop for planning ahead, which as you can imagine can have significantly great returns. So if you're someone who's always planning, always thinking of what might come from a situation, then you might be a Sigma male. Question 9. Do you believe you're liable for the situations you put yourself in? Sigma males have a blunt and critical perspective on themselves. They understand that no one is ever going to care as much about them than they do about themselves. This means that any great success they want to achieve has to be achieved through their own doing, as no one will simply hand them it. Although some may name this reflection of oneself as harsh or overbearing, it's a necessary philosophy you need to adopt in order to comprehend that you're in control of steering your own destiny. This means they recognize that any discomforting or unfavorable situation they find themselves in is no one's doing but their own. If you are someone who often blames others or your environment for the circumstances that bear on you then you likely aren't a Sigma male. The man who looks to blame externals is a man who lives on excuses, which is an intolerable frame of mind for the Sigma. Question 10. Are you always yourself? Sigma males stay true to their values no matter what. They value their independence and take pride in their individuality as they understand the value they have to offer. Whether it's the head of a company or a hotel cleaner, the Sigma male will not change his behaviors and attitudes depending on who they interact with. They know what's important to them, and they know how to get where they want. And they will not compromise on their values of staying true to themselves in order to gain some kind of ground. They are men of modesty who hold traditional beliefs and will not play a jester to a so-called king. 
So if you are someone who finds themselves changing their behavior to please others or to put yourself in an advantageous position, then you are likely not a Sigma male. Question 11. Do you accept or reject a loss? Sigma males see losses as lessons, and without lessons you do not grow. Growth is the main factor dictating the success of an individual, and without a willingness to lose, is a willingness to not grow. They embrace loss and see it not as a setback, but rather an opportunity. Sigmas see the loss as a chance to apply the lesson they learned to other areas of their life, as well as the one it stemmed from, and become more efficient as a result. Accepting loss is a healthy way to stay focused on your goals and not to see them as such daunting events that will halt your progression. If you're someone who accepts loss and sees them as opportunities, then you likely reside with the nature of a Sigma male. Question 12. Do you consider yourself to have high potential? Sigma males are known to carry a naturally high ambition because they recognize the potential they hold as an individual. They know how to remain laser focused on their goals and how to eliminate distractions with ease. Sigma males have an innate feeling that they have so much of life to experience, and in order to fulfill that demand they first need to get into the position where they are able to endure various experiences at will. Whether it may be traveling to a desired location, spending their time excelling in their hobbies, learning a new skill, or whatever it may be, they understand they have the potential to do whatever they want and behave accordingly in order to achieve that potential. If you're someone who believes they have a high potential ceiling and work relentlessly to fulfill that potential, then you may find that you reside with the nature of a Sigma male and might be one yourself. Question 13. Do you chase pleasure or purpose? Whatever it may be, Sigma males are driven by their purpose in life. They know they have been given an opportunity to experience the world, and so they want their lives to be meaningful. Living an average life and not achieving anything great throughout is a daunting thought for the Sigma male and will make every effort to have that not be his outcome. Although they are purpose-oriented, they do not neglect pleasure in their lives. They know it's important to strike a balance between pleasure and purpose, but they are not adamant on prioritizing pleasure, unlike much of the society does. They know that extended time spent experiencing pleasure can lead to time wasting and unfavorable circumstances in the future, which may lead them to live an unfulfilling and meaningless life. So if you're someone who prioritizes their purpose in life and makes every effort to make your life be meaningful and even chase to leave a legacy, then you may find yourself to be a Sigma male. Question 14. Are you reserved in your mannerisms? Sigma males tend not to want to stand out, yet they naturally do anyway. They frequently do not express their thoughts and opinions out of turn, or even when the time seems right. They will only add to a conversation when they themselves feel they have something of value to be added. They are confident in their ideologies and do not try to persuade others into their beliefs as they understand that may lead to drama and conflict, which is the last thing the Sigma male wants. So if you're someone who constantly feels the need to vocalize their thoughts and opinions, thinking your input is the most important of anyone else's, then you likely are not a Sigma male. Question 15. Do you prefer individual work or group projects? Sigma males value independence and lend out their trust sparingly. They are aware of their own strengths and want to cater to them, rather than being dependent on others for task completions. Sigma males would rather work on a task individually than collaboratively because they understand working with more people means there's more liabilities to consider. They would instead prefer to work on the task by themselves where they are in control of all bases and are aware of exactly what is going well versus what needs improvement and will adjust accordingly. If you're someone who would rather work individually as you believe you can come to a better outcome, Instead of with a team, then you may be a Sigma male.